Welcome to this Family Play Festival activity video. My name is Ruth and I'm going to demonstrate a fun activity you can do with your child that will help get them ready to read. The items I use will be in the Family Play Festival kit, which you can get for free by registering for the festival at boulderlibrary.org slash play or by clicking the link below. So let's get started. Our activity for today is based on the early literacy practice, right? And here are the instructions that you will be getting in English and in Spanish. For babies, we are going to provide you with a ball and or a cube. You might get two balls, you might get two cubes, or you might get one of each. You'll notice that there are different colors, that they squeak when you press them, and that some of them have different textures. What you can do with your baby is you can help them touch and feel the different surfaces on each cube or ball. And as you help them feel, you can also say bumpy. Let them know what those words are. This ball has numbers on it. You can take their fingers and trace these numbers by saying the number one, the number seven. You can also, of course, play ball with them and roll the ball to them or gently toss the ball to them and see if they can actually track it with their eyes and with their hands. These activities actually help develop gross motor skills, which then in turn help develop their ability to hold and implement a, a pencil, a crayon, and write. So it is the start of the developing of the skill of writing. So for toddlers and preschoolers, we have a different activity. This one, just so you know, can be messy. And so we are gonna be working with food coloring. So you might want to make sure they're wearing a smock, or um, they can take off their clothes, make sure you have some kind of protection so that they don't get all their clothes stained. The other thing you wanna make sure is that you have something to catch that messy but fun food coloring. Here I have a paper plate. In addition to a box of food coloring, you're also going to get a coffee filter. Now what you can do with this coffee filter is you can leave it open or you can fold it in different ways, however you want. And with the food coloring, we are going to make designs. Now, we'll take off the cap and you're going to have to slowly and gently press to get your food coloring to come out of the bottle. You just want a little press. And this also is practice with gross and fine motor skills. Getting them ready to hold a pen or a crayon or a marker to get started with writing. I just put in some blue. Now I'm gonna put in some red. Let's see what designs and what color the blue and red make. Once you are done making your design, if you have folded your paper, you can open it up and see the design that you've made. It's fun to do. And if you have more paper or coffee filters, there's a, going to be a ton more of your food coloring that you can use. I hope you enjoyed this activity. We have lots of books at the library that you can put on hold to help um, also augment your experience of learning how to start those writing skills. Don't forget to register for the Family Play Festival, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.